OK, so let's say I've got two sets of data, and I'm going to try and compare them. And I'm going to pull out all the stops. So I'm going to pull out the big guns. I'm going to try and find the mean, median, mode, range, lower quartile, upper quartile, and interquartile range uh, for both sets of data to, in aid of to compare these two sets. OK, so first of all, let's start with the mean. So what I want to do is I want to add up all of the A's numbers and then divide by how many there are. OK, now remember, your calculator can do this for you. OK, so uh, you go to menu and then number six is the class with Casio class with, by the way, and then number one for one variable. And you're going to want to type in those numbers. So 2, 2, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, 14, 15, 18, and 18. OK. Then you can press Option. And then number 3, one variable calc. OK. And it gives you all the information that you actually need. OK. So uh, the mean here is 10. Now. It also calculates for you all of this other, these other bits of information as well. Okay, if you scroll down, okay, uh, just so that we're clear on how we can find these things, okay, uh, just by looking at the set of data, the median will be the middle value. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bits of data. So halfway will be the sixth. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there is your median value, which will also be ten. Okay, and you can read that off from your calculator as well. The mode, the most occurring number here. Uh, well, we've got two. And we've got 18. So we've actually got two modes, 2 and 18. The range is the largest, take away the smallest. So 18 take away 2, which is just 16. The lower quartile is the median of the lower half, ignoring the median there. So the median of those five numbers. So there's your lower quartile, which is going to be 5. And your upper quartile is the median of the top half. And excluding the median, so that's the 15. So the interquartile range will be 15 take away 5, so 10. Now for the second set of data, and obviously you can get the uh, median value there, the quartile 1, which is the lower quartile, quartile 3, which is the upper quartile, all from the calculator. OK, so it's got that data for you. So now we want to type in the second set of data. So Go to menu, number six, one variable again. So we've got two, five, five, six, six, 10, 14, 14, 15, 15, and 18. So then option, number three, and we can read off the mean again is 10. Well, the median value will be in the same position. It's got the same number of data items. So following down, that's 10 again. The mode. Well, we've got two fives, two sixes, two fourteens, and two fifteens. So five, six, fourteen, and fifteen uh, all appear twice. The range is 18 take away two, so 16 again. The lower quartile's in the same position, so that's five. The upper quartile's in the same position, so that's 15. So the interquartile range is the same. OK, so this is our picture. These two sets of data both have the same mean, the same median. The mode, because there's only two of each, and because there's more than one mode, we can't really get any data, any information from that. You can't really make a comparison. So the mode's out, really. That's no good. Range is the same. Lower quarter, upper quarter is the same, and hence the interquartile range is the same. But clearly, these two sets of data are different because they've got different numbers in them. So what I'm using this example to then show is that in this peculiar case, none of my comparison methods that I currently have have produced any results. I've got nothing that I can really compare them against. 
because they're not precisely the same okay, um, as sets of data, because I can see that. But the averages and the uh, quartiles that I've found are. So what this is leading on to is what we look at in the next video, okay, where we need a new measure of how spread out the data is. And that introduces us to the standard deviation. And I'll show you how we get there in the next video.